You are listening to the Cellulite Site Podcast, episode number 23, Breaking the Cycle, the connection between stress and cellulite. Welcome to the Cellulite Site, where we meet cellulite challenges with care, confidence, commitment, community, compassion, concern, consistency, and courage. And now your host, Bree Cox Kennedy. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to another empowering episode. We've all been there, standing in front of the mirror, tugging and pulling at those favorite light-colored leggings or perhaps the swimsuit that you spent days shopping for, only to be met with the frustration and embarrassment that cellulite can bring. We've all been there. And like me, I'm sure you've heard that tiny voice in the back of your mind that whispers, oh, do I really feel comfortable wearing this? Or worse, what will people think when they see my cellulite? The stress caused by the cellulite creeps in and suddenly something as simple as getting dressed or going out feels like a battleground between your mind and your body. It's easy to feel like you're the only one struggling, but the truth of the matter is that over 90% of us experience cellulite at some point in our lives. And it seems once it arrives, it's like an unwanted guest. It's really hard to get rid of. So if you've ever found yourself avoiding shorts, skirts, or even a beautiful day at the beach, you're not alone. Yet, despite being so common, many women struggle in silence, feeling isolated, ashamed, like they need to hide their bodies. But here's the truth. Cellulite doesn't make you less worthy of showing up fully, confidently, and beautifully. Let me tell you a little bit about my story and why I needed a turning point. If you can picture this, at the young age of 20, I was lying on my bed reading when my boyfriend at the time walked in. His gaze shifted to my legs, and with a poke, he asked, Do you have cellulite? Highly impacted, his words stuck with me for years. At that young, vulnerable age, I couldn't shake the impact and the negative thoughts that would stay with me for decades. Fast forward three decades, I spent so much energy obsessing over my perceived imperfections, seeking ways to quote unquote fix them. I encountered too many eager professionals happy to take my money while I hoped to make the cellulite or what I thought was cellulite disappear. The treatments I tried left me more frustrated with wasted time and wasted money. And what I didn't realize at the time was that my thoughts were perpetuating the issue. Things worsened in 2020 when anxiety took over during the global shutdown. Nights of cooking for my boyfriend became nights with a bottle of wine. And my exercise routine vanished as I was working long hours behind a desk. And before I knew it, I was stuck in a self-perpetuating cycle that only made things harder. So which comes first? Is it stress or is it cellulite? Well, it's a bit of a chicken or the egg situation. Does stress lead to cellulite or does cellulite increase stress? The truth is it works both ways. It's no secret that stress wreaks havoc on our bodies. From sleepless nights to shallow breathing to tense shoulders, it affects every part of us, including our skin. And when we're stressed, our body produces and releases cortisol a hormone that breaks down collagen, weakens skin, and contributes to the appearance of cellulite. Not only that, but stress can also lead to poor circulation and weight gain, making cellulite more visible. And my friends, the story doesn't end there. When those dimples and bumps first appear, it's easy for our self-confidence to take a hit, leading to more stress. Suddenly, cellulite becomes more than a physical issue. It feels like a reflection of our self-worth, triggering a familiar wave of anxiety. You may start noticing subtle changes in your behavior, like 
wearing darker colors to avoid drawing attention to your legs, skipping social events that involve swimsuits, or opting for long pants even in the heat of summer. This avoidance slowly chips away at your joy and confidence. It's no longer just about appearance. It becomes emotional. If left unchecked, the negative self-talk can affect not only how we feel about our bodies, but also how we engage with the world, trapping us in a negative loop where stress and cellulite feed off of each other, impacting both our body and mind. So let's be real. Most of us are experts at hiding our insecurities. Maybe it's opting to wear a long dress instead of that cute mini sundress hanging in your closet or finding excuses to avoid pool parties because the thought of putting on a swimsuit makes you feel insecure. We've all been there. These small, seemingly insignificant choices slowly chip away at our confidence. These behaviors can start subtly, but over time, they do build walls around us, leading us to feel isolated, making us feel like we are the only ones struggling with this problem. But here's the thing, friends, and I keep saying this because I need you to know you are not alone. Behind those silent struggles is a universal experience shared by millions of women feeling disconnected from the idea of beauty that we enjoyed in our youth. Cellulite can make us question whether we're worthy of showing up in spaces where we should otherwise feel empowered. How many times have you thought, gosh, I wish I could wear what she's wearing, or if only my legs look like they did five years ago, or everyone's going to notice my cellulite. Maybe I should just stay home tonight. These thoughts are exhausting, but more than that, they rob us of the joy of simply living in the moment and enjoying our bodies. As a community, we understand that cellulite is not a flaw or a failure. It's simply part of what makes our bodies human and real. My mission has been to bridge the gap between self-acceptance and empowerment, encouraging us to reframe how we see ourselves, not through the lens of perfection, but through the lens of strength and confidence. It's my dream to help women find peace and acceptance with where we are but also providing empowering strategies to help us become the best versions of ourselves. If you've ever caught yourself second-guessing your wardrobe choices, wondering if people will notice or even hesitating before hitting the gym because you're worried about those unforgiving mirrors and those horrendous lights, what is up with those? They can make a smooth countertop look like the surface of the moon. I mean, come on. And department stores, <laughs> you're in trouble too. Anyway, I digress. These subtle shifts in behavior can sometimes signal that cellulite is affecting more than just your skin. It's impacting your psyche and self-esteem. And by the way, department stores, you'd sell more clothing if you put decent lighting that flattered women in the fitting rooms. I digress again. But here's the silver lining. While stress and cellulite are closely connected, you don't have to feel trapped by this cycle. There are many things you can start doing at home to be proactive in helping to release toxins, promote lymphatic drainage, increase hydration, and incorporate exercises to build muscle. In fact, before diving into any professional treatment, or even if you're hesitant to experiment with the various modalities that we talk about here at the Cellulite site, you can begin taking control of your journey with the Cellulite Circuit. It's designed to bridge the gap between advanced treatments that I blog about and simple do-it-yourself methods you can easily implement at home. This holistic approach empowers you to take daily steps towards smoother skin and renewed confidence without feeling overwhelmed by complicated routines. So let me review the cellulite circuit because we want to reclaim your confidence one step at a time. While there's no magic cure for cellulite, I designed the cellulite circuit to empower women to take control of their journey with self-care steps that seamlessly fit into everyday life. The holistic routine not only targets stubborn areas, but it also focuses on restoring your confidence, helping you take control from the comfort of your home. It's about creating space for both physical and mental wellness, honoring yourself in a way that promotes balance and beauty. 
So here's a deeper look at how it works. Hydration is key. Starting your day with my rise and rinse routine, simply fresh lemon water, helps flush out toxins and hydrates your skin. The simple act jumpstarts your day by cleansing your system, reducing fluid retention, and supporting glowing skin. Since coffee can dehydrate your skin, this refreshing lemon water routine is a perfect alternative to kickstart the day. Secondly, we want to continue your hydration throughout the day, adding nutrients and cleansing properties. The Cellulite Cleanse is a holistic approach to tackling cellulite from the inside out, featuring powerhouse ingredients like living silica, apple cider vinegar, electrolytes, fresh lemon, ginger, and cayenne pepper. This cleanse emphasizes anti-inflammatory foods that promote collagen production and enhance circulation, essential for smoother skin. And of course, we want to focus on targeted movements. You don't need a gym or a complex workout plan. Simple at-home exercises like squats, lunges, and stretches can tone the muscles beneath the skin, smoothing out dimples. Pair these exercises with ancient techniques like dry brushing, cupping massage, fascia blasting, and gua sha massage, which can stimulate the lymphatic system, flushing out toxins, and promoting circulation. These practices are not just about results. They're about your mindset and making time for self-care, showing your body some love. The emotional aspect of self-care is just as important as the physical. The cellulite circuit recognizes the impact stress has both on the body and the mind. Stress management techniques like meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply taking a few moments for yourself can reduce cortisol level, improving overall skin health. This mental shift is key to breaking the cycle of anxiety surrounding cellulite and allowing you to feel empowered in your skin. The cellulite circuit isn't just about targeting physical appearance. It's about reclaiming control over your emotions, how you feel, nurturing your body with practices, and honoring both your inner and your outer beauty. You'll be able to take care of your skin, tone your body, and manage stress all from home on your terms. Over the past nine months, I've personally followed the cellulite circuit diligently when I am not traveling. The transformation I've witnessed has been nothing short of incredible. Initially, I struggled with the stubborn cellulite that made me very self-conscious. But by committing to the circuit, incorporating treatments, nutrition, and lifestyle changes, I have seen remarkable improvement. Just a few weeks of using living silica in my daily routine and embracing the cellulite cleanse with apple cider vinegar, fresh lemon, and electrolytes, I noticed my skin felt more hydrated and resilient. As I continued with the circuit, the combination of anti-inflammatory foods and consistent treatments not only improved the texture of my skin, but also enhanced my overall confidence. By the six-month mark, I could visibly see a reduction in the appearance of cellulite. My skin looks smoother, firmer, and more vibrant. Friends commented on my transition, which motivated me to stay committed. Now, at nine months in, I feel empowered and beautiful in my skin, embracing my journey and encouraging others to join me on this holistic approach. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing my short skirts and dresses again. The cellulite circuit has not just changed my skin. Because I'm wearing those shorter dresses again, it has transformed my mindset, helping me celebrate my body and fostering a sense of self-acceptance and empowerment. This experience has been life-changing, and I cannot wait to share my journey with you, my beautiful friend. Remember, cellulite does not define you. It's only a small part of your appearance, and with the right steps, you can embrace the beauty, strength, and confidence that you have always had within you. This journey to smoother skin is also a journey to self-acceptance. When we take steps to care for ourselves, it's not just about what we see in the mirror. It's about how we feel in our skin. Whether cellulite came first or stress did, we can take back the reins, focusing on what truly matters, feeling courageous, beautiful, and confident. So the next time you hesitate before pulling out those light-colored leggings or deciding against wearing shorts, remember, 
You deserve to feel fabulous no matter what. So take control and download the Cellulite Circuit Checklist and get started today. Let's break this cycle together. I'll add a link to the Cellulite Circuit Overview podcast at the end of this one so you can learn all about the steps toward cellulite reduction. I'll also put a link in the description below so you can download your free copy of the Cellulite Circuit Checklist so you can follow along. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I truly hope that you've found value in it and that you look in the mirror with love and adoration for the beautiful woman who you are and who we see you as. Empower your journey one day at a time, my beautiful friends. I love you and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning into the Cellulite site. We appreciate you being part of our community, dedicated to exploring and sharing insights on cellulite health. Connecting with confident women like you is what makes this journey so fulfilling. Our mission is to simplify your path to progress and spare you from months of uncertainty. If you're ready to take your journey to the next level, visit thecellulitesite.com to grab your cellulite circuit checklist. Embark on your transformative journey today and in the coming weeks, witness firsthand how these concepts can make a positive impact. Remember, it's not just about absorbing information intellectually, it's about committing to the work and celebrating the results. A quick reminder, the content shared is based on personal experiences and perspectives and is not medical advice.